In this video, we'll connect a GPS that has USB capabilities to the Raspberry Pi. We'll find the name of the connection and we'll display the messages the Raspberry Pi is getting from the GPS through the console. Using a Raspberry Pi, a power source, in this case, a USB charger and an external GPS module with USB connection. Powering up the Raspberry Pi, I'll open VNC Viewer on my computer. Since I'm at home, I'm gonna use any of the connections I created. I'll open the console. I will type in LSUSB, hit enter. And I will take a screenshot of the results. Back to the console, I will type DMESG space this symbol is called the pipe space grip space TTY press enter and I will take a screenshot of the results. On the console, I'm gonna type cd space slash dev slash press enter, ls press enter, I'll take a third screenshot. These screenshots show the status of the USB connections before I plug in the GPS module. I bring the GPS module that has a USB plug. I will plug that in to the Raspberry Pi. I will put this on the patio or a balcony or even near the window. On the Raspberry Pi's console, press the upper key to repeat an old command. In this case, run LS USB. Press enter. Looking at the results, I see a new device has been detected, device 4, that didn't exist before when I ran this command before. Uh, I just now need to know the device name or the port name uh, that corresponds to device number four. Back to the console, I'll rerun DMESG. If you look at the results and compare this to the old results, you're gonna find everything is identical with the exception of this last line here is called TTY USB 0 and this is a new device you connected to the Raspberry Pi. Now I run the ls command you're still standing on the dev folder and these are the results. Looking at the results you now find TTY USB 0 showing up. Previously we didn't have that uh, before we plug in the GPS module. Now we have this new device and this is the name of the device and that was another way to finding the name of the connected device uh, your case might be different you might find a different name for your connected gps module you can go back to the previous directory by typing cd space dot dot press enter i'm gonna close this dialog anyways Open the console again and type cat space slash dev slash tty usb0 or the name of the device that you found. Then press enter. Now everything the GPS is detecting is being displayed on the screen. To stop or interrupt this process, hold the control key and press C. One of the most important messages is the one that has the letters GGA. To understand this message, search for NMEA. Go to any of the links, either Wikipedia or GPS World, and read more about GGA. I'm gonna search this website for GGA keyword. So the message contained a timestamp. It contains latitude in a specific format north or south, 
the longitude in a similar format, west or east, quality indicator, number of satellites that are used, HDOP, altitude of the antenna, units, and joint separation. Units again for the joint separation, and few other things. Notice some devices write this message as GPGGA. Mine does it differently. It is GNGGA, but the message is the same. In another video, we're gonna be looking into decoding that or breaking it down into its base elements, and we will be calculating latitude, longitude, ellipsoidal height, orthometric height, and we're gonna be doing this through a simple Python programming.